English, just Igbo language, every person. There is so, Jin and there is in English too. Yes, but I mean there is Igbo. Igbo is a pure our language. The fourth come from our parents. Is it the fourth? Yes, it's the fourth of our parents because Why is it the fourth? We are Ibani people. We speak Ibani. But at that time they keep they reserve the Ibani to use it to men to kill their slave. You know, if I, I want you to be key now, I can order them to bring you. Mm -hmm. Besides, the children are growing up with those slaves. So that was how Igbo language and cleave our language. All right, beautiful people. It's your boy again, the XDT and the YPE, the extra talented young progressive entrepreneur, the RAB refinable boy, SBGC Street Boy Gun Classy, and I'm repping Namen TV. All right, today you can see how special this program is going to be. We are at the Secretariat of Opobunkoro Local Government Area, the home of the prestigious King Jaja of Opobo. Well, um, this episode will expose a lot of things to us. The history of the Opobo people, the, the numerous working news, and the distinctive dialect, Igbo dialect of, uh, of these people. All right, well, you will join me as we meet the people and uh, interview them firsthand and understand their story. Come with me as we do this. Uh, so, what's your name? What's your full name? Okay. My name is Ogolo Joshua Dinne. I hail from Chief Ogolo's house of Jepri Polo in Opobonkoro local government. Okay. Okay, let me start with that uh that particular unique name Dinne. Dinne. All right. So what what does that mean Dinne? Yeah, because you know Popo has a mixed race. Some part of the race are of the Igbos. Some of the slave trading of uh, maybe or I'll call it adoption, some were adoption, some were through slavery they got to Boni. And that language for trading of Igbo dialect immigrated into Ibani dialect. So that is how we started speaking Igbo. Some of us are related to that of Igbo through blood lineage, while some are through uh, maybe language to marketing, like trading, you know, because the king there himself is not from Ibani as, as by origin. He migrated as well from that of Igbo. So when he inter face with the Banese, he uses Igbo language. So because of easy way of trading, they now the resort to be using Igbo language. Originally they are of Ibani tribe, which is under the the tribe they call Ejo. Ejo, because if you ask me now which tribe am I from, I will say Ejo. But in the Ejo we have Ibani. We are people lay there from the little history i know about you know i'm, I'm a young boy uh -huh. so the the most history can be told by the elders but the little i know if i may be misquoted by someone that is what i know about us okay okay now um the the bani is a subgroup of the ajo yes that's what i observe because in the bunny clan or region it is called a bunny a bunny so now we also answer Ibani as a people. But when you say tribe, if I'm registering any form now, we'll put that place as a job, as a tribe. Okay, 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 let's see. Now, uh, the, the, the mixed race, like, it's, like you rightly said here. Yes. Um, we're talking about the Igbo race yeah. and the Ijo race yeah. coming together yes. to be one people. Yeah, yeah really, because... Uh, I do know that there is this trade that transacts within that of where they call uh, Ndoki, which is within the Igbo clan to another community that is under Abia State now. So they, they interwove between the Boni trade in those days before the amalgamation of Nigeria. Even uh -huh. if you look at the age of these, uh, the, when the Kinjija yeah, 18, 18 something, fine, you can see that it, there is this co-relationship between that of Igbos and that of Boni before the migration of Opobo kingdom. Okay, all right, now let's talk about the Igbo language being yeah. spoken here and yeah. the Igbo names being yeah. spoken here. Yeah. How have that uh, affected the culture of the people that, uh, that made it like the, the Lenga Franca okay. here is 
is majorly Igbo language. Yes. Because when they migrated from Boni, they, they were using Igbo too to interact among themselves. Because I find out that from little history I've read about us, that some of the chiefs that were installed as paramount ruler in Boni were also migrated from Igbo. So in that, make, in that basis, they started using that language as a common language to flow among themselves. So when they developed the Pobo Kingdom, when they migrated from Boni down to Pobo Kingdom, they now started using the same language. But our elders can speak Ibani. We, we cannot. Because they never started with us. And some of us, too, our grandparents, we are from that of Igbo as well. So that was what really, you know, disintegrated us from using the Ibani dialect, which is you can flow that of Okrika, Calabari, and uh, Koro. You see, that, that's a Bani kind of language. But we don't use it mainly here. It's only our elders that can speak. But we youth that were born from 70s and 80s, we don't use a Bani language. We use Igbo language. So Igbo language has come to stay here? I wouldn't want you want to use the word stay. But for now, it's staying. I don't know in future. <laughs> he said, the, this is the future. Yes. And uh, you yourself, what you are speaking to your children it's is Igbo. Igbo. Yes, sir. It's Igbo, sir. We are using Igbo right here. If you hear people say, good morning, it's Alache, or Leah. We don't even say Igbo Ma, Igbo Te, as we the youth. But the elders, like our king, flows Ibani fluently. Other chiefs flow Ibani fluently. But we the youth, you know, we don't use Ibani because we cannot. We, nobody teach us. Apart from the school, Maybe they add it in some of those schools right now. It's existing anyway. Okay, so uh, this is not, this is practically not an Igbo town. By tribe, it's not Igbo. But by lineage, it's Igbo. Because if, if you use the language of a particular people, meaning you are identifying with that very community, no matter what people say, I believe that we have dual lineage. Igbo and Ibani, or Igbo and Ijo. So somebody to specifically say that we are Igbo as, as per se. I will, I will not say we are not, but we are in the both parties. We are in the both affiliations. It, it, I mean, the people are intertwined between the whole, yes, the yes, both, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. the Ejo. Okay, this is, this is where Ejo and Igbo came to be one people. Yes. Can we use that word? Yes, that's what it is. Of, of course, you understand that I said from creation, the people town wasn't existing. It was in the bony. And they started using this Boni from Boni. So when they migrated, when the King Jaja migrated from there and established Opubo Kingdom, they started using the Igbo language. Not really that they are tribe of Igbo, but by tribe, but by lineage, we have a lot of things in okay. common. Um, uh, I don't know if history has it. But I mean, because when King Jaja of Opubo established, mm. yes, yeah. when he established this town, he, became, he has become a free man, yeah. right from Boni. He has become a free man, who rose from the slave mm -hmm. trade and stuff like that. Okay. It could be that he traced back his his lineage, his history, his origin. No. Back. No, no. And, he, uh, no, no. He never, he never traced. He is proud of being an Ebani man. Okay. He never traced. From the record we had, he never traced his way back. But he never despised his people as well, that of Igbo. But he never traced his way back as to reintegrate back to where he came from. I'm assuring you that ask elders, they will tell you. He never retreat, you know, try to go back to where he come from. No, but he embraces everybody. He okay. Yes. He, he embraces embrace where he where he found himself, exactly, where he has established. Exactly. And uh, exactly. he goes like that. Exactly. He's even proud of being called an Ibani man as well as calling him an Ibo man, but he's proud of most in Ibo, I mean Ibani. Okay, okay, let's talk about the culture. The, yeah. the traditional things that are being performed or being done in this town. Yeah. Uh, what are the cultural uh, affiliations with, Igbo. with the Igbo, uh, with the general Yes, Igbo? yes. But like uh, Elia said, uh, everything started from that of Ndoki side. We have Watam. And Watam, as I heard, was also from that of uh, uh, Ndoki side. They have Okekwe. Okekwe also is from there. We have uh, uh, Mbede, traditional dancing something stuff. There are so many of it. We have there, but the major play here is also within that of Ibani. So we wove the culture of that of Ibo is here, and that of Ibani is also here. Like Owu, 
the cultural one we call owu. Owu. owu yeah owu is a traditional play of the banis Owu, is it uh have you heard about uh, uh, as in i think some town in imo states like yeah. uh um mbitoli people okay uh, mb, yeah some mbitoli people does owu is it the same owu there i will have not witnessed that of their own owu but i know that okay it, explain how owu, this owu is done here uh, owu is done on the maybe if a king is coming from another community or at the end of the year we play owu of different kinds different types which is basically an ebani culture but if you talk about this ekbe we don't play ekbo and which is that of a but we we'll play ekbe watam those ones interwoven between that of uh, Igbo race too but that of owu uh, uh, is purely an ebani cultural play it's a traditional and it's been done here yes on yearly basis yeah every year so what are the what are the uh, cultural affinity do the people of Okobo have that are in common with Igbos? Just tell us. I mean, if, if it is numbers, just count them. Yes, I. You know, there is one thing I find out that is also common. The way we dress is slightly different, only by the top, but by the cap, by the wrapper, is something with that of Igbo. Yeah, because even that of Akwa Igbo. The same, the same cap, but just that we have what I call style that is more unique than any other Ibani in the whole river states. Okay, what about the what about the food? The food are the same. The food is hundred percent the same. We eat yam, which is called G, which is you know it's honorable uh, and name too. We ha we have we eat plantain. We eat, in fact everything that Ibo man eats, the jaws and the Ibanis eat the same. Okay, all right, thank you. What's the name again? My name is Ogolo Joshua Dinne. Ogolo Joshua Dinne. So, how, okay, you adopted that name from Ondoki? Um, yeah? My father is named Dinne. Yes, um, well, I will also be sincere to tell you that my own great grandfather is from uh, Nkwer. Okay, yes. okay, okay. From the Matana side or from the Patana side? Patana side, sir. My okay. Patana side. Okay, that, I mean, can we call you an Igbo man? By lineage, I would say I'm Ibo man, but by tribe, I would say I'm Ibani. How can oh, you be? No, yeah, yeah, he said. I mean, if you, if you, if you, no, he said dual citizenship. Okay. Uh, yeah, I must be bold to tell you that. If you trace the real lineage of some persons too in this kingdom, you see that both Matana and Patana are of the Ibos. Some are like that. You know, trade, slave trade has made us to interwove. And both, but by tribe definition, by uh, you say nationality, which uh, nationality are you? I wouldn't just jump out of this place. You know, by disintegration as well, we have now integrated into Ebani. Ordinarily, from the history I read, okay. but they voted kind of uh, a referendum and come into River States. Okay. Yeah, but I can't quote the year because I've not really go through that. But okay. it is told that okay. we are. Okay. Of that is that is a history of, of another day. Yes, thank you. Very thank much. you so much. <laughs> thank you, Baba. thank you. I really appreciate. It. Hello. I really appreciate. It. <laughs> what is your name? My name, my name. I'm Warisenabo Kelvin Odipama Manela. All right. Um, let's talk about the people of uh, Opobo. Here we, when we came into this town, we saw that the. Uh, the 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 language of communication here yeah, the uh, is uh, basically Igbo language yes. it's not i mean no pidgin no english just Igbo language every person there is so pidgin and there is in english too. yes but i mean there is Igbo, Igbo is a pure our language the fourth come from our parents is it a fourth yes it's the fourth of our parents because Why is it a fourth we are ibani people we speak ibani but at that time, they keep they reserve the bunny to use it to men to kill their slave. You know, if I, I want you to be key now, I can order them to bring you. Mm -hmm. Besides, the children are growing up with those slaves. So that was how Igbo language and cleave our language. So that means uh, the, 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 the majority of the slaves were Igbos. Yes. Coming from Africa, uh, Omo Aya, uh, Arochuku. Mm. 
because I, I, I was brought up and my parents told me of Longitude of Aruchuku, so which I've never go to see, but I will go. Uh, so people trade and trek from here to Aruchuku. You can go through this this river hmm? to Aba. When they stop at Aba, they trek to Aruchuku. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the, okay. In Aba, there is this junction, Opobo Junction, and it has a no, very no, beside that. If when you follow this river, you can follow this river to Abai, where this uh, water is running. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Okay, so now the Igbo slaves, they came with their language. Mm, they came with their language and they were overpowered because the children of those chiefs are growing with them. You understand? They don't stay with their parents. Mm -hmm. So, because of those slaves, Igbo language became the language of the people of no, Boni. We say in Nigeria, we don't call them slaves. Because before you be an indigenous place, either by adoption, mm, marriage, and uh, mar uh, marriage, so definitely they are our people. Just like Jaja. You know, Jaja, when they bought Jaja, they transfer him from um, a humble to Akwete, from Akwete to this place. Mm -hmm. So his real name, they were calling him Jubo Jubo Fem, meaning from hand to hand. Mm -hmm. But later, the white cannot produce it. That's why they call him Jaja. Yeah, okay. All right, so now, the people here, is still maintained that they speak Igbo. We in the, yeah, we're in uh, history, we call it Ibani Ibo. Okay, so can I ask you, what is your name? My name? My name, I'm Warisenebo Kelvin Odipama Manela. Warisenebo Kelvin Odipama Manela. Manela yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are you an Igbo man? Partially. Because the language is there now. Mm. Outside the language, are you an Igbo man? Do you have any... Ibo. Affinity. Do you have any uh, uh, origin that could be traced to the Igbo land? Yes. My grandmother come from Amacharumwaya. Your grandmother? Mm. I usually go there and play. I don't know if you know what is it. Yes, I know it. Mm. So how? Inside that, we are trying to research. Like last time, uh, Professor Lagwa came here, we are researching how this Mwotam came into being. Hmm? Okay, okay, talking about Mwotam, what is Mwotam? I, I mean, how is that culture? Uh, from the ancestral history, they say Mwotam come from either Aruchuku or uh, Arundizwa. It's Mwotam. It's, hmm? Mm -hmm. It's an Igbo traditional festival. Igbo traditional, but a hunter saw it and bring it into manufacturing, and we are using it. But now we have original two. One is at Ohambele. One is at Queenstown. All right. So now, uh, tell us the what is the origin? As in, tell us the brief history you know about how Igbo, the slave. The, the ones that were bought as slave here, and also the the brain of King Jaja. How did he, uh, uh, how did he related with the with his Igbo kinsman? Because definitely he is a he's an Igbo slave. He was sold here as a slave. So how was his relationship with the Igbos? His relationship was so good. If you go to, uh, uh, I forgot his village, but uh, Umudroha in Inkwere. Umudroha. In inquiry. Yes. He has canal and all this port. Maybe as you come, you'll be seeing canal. He, he, he was relating with his uh, uh, family. Okay. Uh, if, if he's the founder of this town. No, he came with other chief. They are 14. At a time in Boni, there was a problem. Hmm? Uh -huh. The problem in rice. And... Uh, some chiefs, we are owning supercargoes. Hmm? We are owning what? Supercargoes, that is sheep. Mm -hmm. So, when they are looking for who foot the bill, mm -hmm. the other, the older chiefs, we are running away. Jaja took up the bull by the horn. 
by the time you know he's collecting some consignment and paying them. Mm -hmm. So that was why his only uh, Igbo man, Okojombo, is from Obo. Okojombo? Yes, yeah, so Okojombo start attacking Jaja. That is why two of them have that confrontation. While they were in Boni or yeah, while they were here? Boni. Mm -hmm. Boni? Yes. Jaja left Boni to Minima. From Minima, we stopped at Nkoro before coming to this place. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Chief, um, so talking about the tradition of the people, talking about the tradition of the people, how did the Igbo, like the Wartam and other traditional rites, if affect the the the, the Boni people? Like, like uh, we are Boni, we believe we are one. Nothing will dispute us because we play the same culture. We are now the the Igbo culture came in. How did how did it now became the especially the language? How did it now became that every person in this town uh, Opobo speaks Igbo language? I I told you right from time. Now we are trying to revive it. If the children they can get us. If you see here, you see uh, Johnson Derego Library. So are you saying that uh, the people now uh, want they want to as in uh, uh, disengage or like uh, drop the Igbo language? It will not be possible. It will not be possible. As in like they are trying to, but they are making an attempt yeah, to yeah, drop yeah. the Igbo language and introduce the Ibani language. I'm 50 something. Mm -hmm. We've been trying it right from my childhood. We are not making it. It's only in a, uh, we have B-O-N. Boni Opopo Nation. Mm -hmm. That is where we showcase our decision. Those who know the uh, the body. All right, all right, all right, Chief. Um, all right, as uh, uh, Waribo. What is any Okay. Um. Now. Uh, how do you your your marital rights? Is it the Igbo? Is it from the Igbo tradition or from the Ibani tradition? Your marital rights. If somebody wants to marry an Opobo woman, is it the Igbo traditional right or the or the or the? If we are going to Igbo, we we'll normally go to Igbo. No, I mean when someone wants to marry from Opobo, mm -hmm. like Opobo girls. I've seen a lot of beautiful girls right here. So, like, if I want to marry an Opobo girl, you come, you come here and perform our marriage. So what, what are the rights? The right one, you consult the the family with two. One, there is something we call a burusu, meaning kitchen. Burusu? Yes, burusu. Then you go to them, give them drinks, and they give you a list. Then that is where you see what you do. Okay, okay. Now let's talk about the water. You are the custodian. Yes, sir. So uh, can you tell us about water and their. Uh, how it's been done? More than uh, started from far, started from here. Uh, like in Doki, most of them fall, some fall in, uh, into River State, some fall to Abia, some fall to Akwaibo. Mm -hmm. So their real name is Wamina Dokiare. That was when the man who founded Boni. His name is Alabare. Uh, He's a hunter. The Wamina Dokiari mean I'm looking for my brother. They miss their way. That is why when you are coming from Obibo, you will see Okoloma, another uh -huh, being named a banana. Then when you go through Ogoni here, you will see Opoko, Kaloko, and Njima. All those things are Ibane names. Okay, wow. So. Uh, because so our people was living at Ndoke, so the way Ndoke people are playing the water, they love it, they bring it here. We are more sophisticated, more colorful than the Ndoke. You understand? So, but there, there was, there was a people, there were people in Ndoke town before the Wanyan Dokeri, as in like when yes, the, like the, the Ebony man. You that uh, uh, 
Jaja. They bought him from uh, uh, Unkwere and was exported to Unhambele. I'm from Unham uh, I'm from Unhambele to Akwete. That is how they brought him to Boni. Mm -hmm. So those we are the seaport for the slave. My country people. I don't say when they enjoy this kind of programs, when they dish out week in, week out. What thing I need from one and I just share, share this program, share it, share this video. Share, share, share to north, share to west, share to south and east. I beg, I beg. Make I come out, make I come out eyeglass, beg on. I beg, see my eye, don't read. I don't really put in a lot of energy, make I produce this kind of work. I don't fly boot, I don't enter water, I don't fly air. I beg, share them, share them, share them. Share my baby. <laughs>